It's the good old morning brew. Thursday, downtown Albuquerque. Uh, thanks to Lindy's Cafe for the view out our window. A beautiful day for us today. Yes. I'm Larry Aarons. This is Amber Hendren. And uh, we have our guests at the couch this morning. It's a great uh, pleasure to welcome back to uh, our show uh, Kenneth Ann Sloan uh, with The Dolls. Uh, by the way, let me mention that this segment is brought to you by the Albuquerque Theater Guild. Uh, Albuquerque Theater Guild, on top of everything uh, that has to do with live theater in Albuquerque, go to abqtheater.org for all the details on what's planned this weekend. Kenneth, good to see you, and uh, you brought your friend Brad Howard with you today. Yes, I have. Hello. And uh, Brad, what's your function with the dolls? What... Um, well, I'm, I'm part of the dolls. I'm, I'm the director of the, of the current show, but I'm also in it as well. Wonderful. So. Uh, where do you see this? Uh, we have the photo. Is this you, Kenneth, as Joan Crawford? Put we are, the, uh, we are, the we are photo up. Look right there. Her. Yes, it is. Yes. Jeez. Gorgeous. <laughs> Amber wants that I dress. I want to come as her tomorrow. <laughs> you should. I you want should. to so bad. You'll need thicker eyebrows. I know. I need help. <laughs> okay, Kenneth, how long have you been doing Joan Crawford? Gosh, since the very beginning of The Dolls, which is 17 years ago, our very first show was the Joan Crawford Marilyn Monroe Christmas show. So oh my I've been doing her a long time. Okay, so how do you take us through the process? How do you become her? Well, this is a, a very different play than the Joan that I used to do. Cause, right. Uh, the Joan from the Christmas shows was kind of the mommy dearest side of things. Right. You know, and poking fun at her. But I've always been a big Joan fan. Uh -huh. And um, so someone was like, well, why don't you do, you know, Joan, the serious side of Joan? And uh -huh. I was like, that's a great idea. So uh, this shows the other side of Joan, which I'm very glad to do. Many other sides of Joan. We do have many actors playing Joan at different stages no in her kidding. life, including this one here. Yeah, I, I play the young, pretty Joan. Flopper <laughs> Joan. The, the, so this is, the, this is deathbed Joan. Aren't you a lucky, lucky lady? <laughs> wow. Young and pretty. Young and pretty. <laughs> deathbed. <laughs> young and pretty. <laughs> nice. Now, the dolls have been around 16 years now. 17. Yeah, 17. And, and yeah. For those who've never seen them perform, how do you describe what you do? Go ahead, I'll let Brad. you handle that. No, one. no, no. You're you're the founder. Oh uh, <laughs> well, we are um, a group. We do have some um, females in our group, but uh, we play the male and the female role. And uh -huh. um, gosh, yeah. when you come to a doll show, expect to laugh. But with this show, it also has a lot of dramatic moments as well. Yeah, totally. I agree. <laughs> With a character such as Joan, you know, she, <clears throat> you must have learned a whole lot about her that you didn't already know. I did, just going so through many this. things. Share with us. Yeah. Give us a little piece of uh, what you know about her. Well, uh, I got every book that I could on her. Uh, she uh, started off in silent films and was one of the few actors to, and he plays Flopper Joan. Yeah, the silent film. <laughs> uh, uh, to make the transition to uh, um, talkies. Uh, and became an even bigger star. And then there's also, uh, you know, uh, Joan was married to Al Steele, who was the uh, president of uh, Pepsi Cola. Mm -hmm. And after he passed away, she was on the board of directors and did a lot for that company that I wasn't aware of. She turned out to be a very competent uh, businesswoman. Uh, yes. And an incredible businesswoman and uh, made a lot of big decisions. Uh, she was responsible, which we address in the play, uh, uh, for... It's a small world after all, at the Disneyland. ride at Disneyland. No mm. kidding. Pepsi sponsored that, and they were like, we don't want anything to do with that. And she goes, this is crazy. This is going to be huge for PepsiCo. And so she went to Walt Disney and was like, you know, we want to represent, you know, uh, Disneyland with this. And she presented the small world after all uh, ride. And so okay. she was responsible for no that. No kidding. So she was a very shrewd businesswoman. She was terrified to speak, and so in public speaking, and so oh, really? she overcame that fear. Hmm. fear. Now, what, what, what's with the Joan Crawford attitude thing that you always make fun of? Uh, she was a diva's diva, right? Oh, yeah. She she definitely was. <laughs> she uh, was kind of no nonsense, and right. um, you know, uh, uh, was very intimidating. 
Yeah. A very intimidating <laughs> lady, but. Well, if this is uh, called The Gospel According to Joan, uh, produced, directed, performed by the dolls, right. and this is at the Oxdog Theater. When are you opening? We opened last oh, week. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. It was tremendous. And we ran through June 1st. And you, you always have such a following, um, and I'm sure your opening weekend crowds were big. Oh, yeah. So let's uh, check out uh, Joan Crawford, Kenneth Anslone, and, and Brad Howard here, who's the director of the piece. Uh, the Dolls performing uh, the Gospel According to Joan. And we want to thank uh, everybody at uh, abqtheater.org, Albuquerque Theater Guild, for what's playing around town in live theater. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you, Larry. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Great thank to have you. you. All right, back in a moment with more bugs after yeah. this. We're going outside. Drive. We're going cruising. <laughs>